Ivor graduated from the University of Washington in 1928 with an economics degree focusing on being a stockbroker. And of course you know what happened in 1929 and his stock brokerage degree became worthless. So in 1937, Ivor opened one of Seattle's first aquariums and while people waited in line or after they visited, he had opened a fish bar where you could get fish and chips and chowder. Soon more people were visiting the fish bar than were visiting the aquarium. Ivor was the mayor of the waterfront. Ivor was the one who was responsible for getting lighting on the waterfront. Next door to us here, Ivor paid for the paint for fire station number five. If you wanted to know what was happening in Seattle, Ivor was the guy to talk to. And when he told you the stories, it was always with a glint in his eye. He loved playing the media. There were lots and lots of pranks. When the Alaska Way Viaduct was about to open, Ivor hired a brass band to thank the city for creating acres and acres of covered parking for his Acres of Clams restaurant. And three weeks later, he asked the city to take it down. There's a traffic problem in Seattle that's causing lots of trouble to me. Our customers get on that Alaskan Way viaduct and there's no way off that they can see. People would come down to the waterfront, they would find themselves up on the Alaska Way viaduct, and he said before they knew it, they were in Everett or Tacoma and they wondered where did the Seattle waterfront go? So he was actually the first guy to call for the demolition of the viaduct in 1953. Well, I want to tell you, get off the viaduct and get down on Alaskan Way. He donated half of his estate to the hospitality school at Washington State University on the other side of the mountains and half to the business school at the University of Washington from which he had graduated in 1928. Hope to see you real soon you can find your way down.